What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dre41, a.k.a. Mr. 4K, a.k.a. Drake41. And as you guys can see here, I have another uh, custom team for NBA 2K20, and it's the Virginia Spartans. Um, I was trying to go for old school ABA team, but you know what? I decided just I'm not even going to attempt to. It, it was just, it didn't work, basically. I, I don't even want to say what happened. It, it just... It didn't work and then even uploading the logos oh my goodness listen uploading the logos to NBA 2k20 it is so difficult because it will say it didn't it can't load the logos properly you got to refresh it like a thousand times oh it took me so long just to upload these logos it was ridiculous but this is an expansion team this expansion team is available for download now on Xbox One. It's not on PlayStation 4. I, I literally have to say this in every video. It is not for PlayStation 4. I do not have a PlayStation 4. You honestly cannot ask me to create this on PlayStation 4. It, it just won't happen. But I really like how the arena came out. Um, I, I did it a little bit differently than I did um, other arenas. Um, with this one, I really made sure that um, the color were right. I um, didn't do an outside color, an out of bounds color. I just kept it just a complete floor color. I didn't change anything and I just dropped the bottle. It is what it is. Um, I like how the uh, the court came out. It really came out good. I really like it. And I have the Microsoft Arena in Virginia. Um, I don't know if they... I tried to Google if they have like an arena. And I, 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 I couldn't find it. So maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But whatever. Now it's just the Microsoft Arena. So, it, you know, it is what it is. Now they have the Microsoft Arena. Congratulations to them. Um... I really, uh, really like how the design comes out. A lot of the times when I'm making a, um, when I'm making a, a, damn, I forgot the name of it, an expansion team. There we go. Anytime when I'm making an expansion team, a lot of the times I have uh, multiple logos for that one team or that one, uh, uh, one state. Um, just mainly because it was like, you know, I want to make sure I'm picking the right logo out of all the logos I have. And usually I have like, three logos that I try for and I'm just like okay well let's see what I can do with this let's see what I can do with that whatever the case is and I, I choose one out of the best ones and with the Spartans I was able to find some really great Spartan logos online now yes I, I do draw over them and sharpen them up and everything like that with Photoshop but a lot of these logos I get from online there's nothing that I do on this channel that you guys technically can't do it just takes some time and really a lot of effort just to make sure everything is sharp and everything comes out crisp and you know what i'm saying it, it's not as if i i'm i'm drawing these logos out right which i mean i could i mean it probably would make it a lot easier for me to um get these logos out quicker and make these teams quicker but a lot of the times i want to make sure that the logos that i that i do get from online kind of match how the logos look in the league as opposed to something that's just like so out there that there's no you're just saying to yourself that doesn't really match how like the nba looks and with this one and that's another reason why i kind of keep the logos a little bit basic as a, and in the jerseys basic as opposed to going all out which i might do but it just seems like when i try to go all out with the jersey designs they kind of more resemble how the jerseys looked in the 90s which once again isn't a bad thing because i like how uh, jerseys were designed back in the 90s it, it kind of stands out and i don't know just like the bold colors logos it, and the names on the jerseys i really liked how that was back in the 90s i'm, I'm a 90s baby what you want um so uh working on this i had three different designs for the the nameplate i guess the nameplate i guess you can call it that for the jersey itself um and once again i always find a good um sponsor logo for the team as well but yeah just the spartans um virginia i think i have two virginias uh one red one white and then spartans and i think i do believe that i utilize the spartans as an alternate which i don't know if that was a good idea i might have changed it um i might have i'm not too sure that might be something i have to check on but uh, nonetheless this is available for download now so if it is up there it, you, you got the final version 
of what I was trying to do. No, actually, I think I'm, I wanted to make this the alternate one because I wanted to make the black one the alternate jersey as opposed to making the red one. So yes, uh, this should be uh, the final the final form of it. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> the red one is the alternate because it had the white words Virginia on it. That's why. Okay, okay, I remember now. A lot of the times I pre-record these, speed it up, and add voiceover afterwards, of course, you know, because who's going to sit there and watch this video for an hour and me putting this together? So, you know, speed run is fine. A speed run is fine. It, it definitely makes sense to do that as opposed to have you sitting here waiting for an hour like, oh my goodness, this loading, that loading, this loading, that loading. It's crazy. Now, for some odd reason, to me, this looks like a college jersey, and I get it. Like, it, it's like college font. It's the Spartans, which is a college team, but I don't know, for some reason, this this alternate jersey looks like a college jersey. So shout outs to me making a college jersey. Subscribe to my channel for me making a um, college jersey. Thumbs up this video for me making a college jersey. But it still looks good. You know what I'm saying? And it's an NBA team. And once again, this is just version one. I can easily update it no problem but like subscribe comment catch on the next video later